watching you know each day we've been teasing a little bit of the upcoming high stakes uh, limited time mode and obviously the getaway and everything coming along with that uh, today we have more to show you guys as well again fortnite presents high stakes yesterday we took a first look at the getaway limited time mode and the new item the grappler Today, we've got the free high stakes challenges and rewards you can unlock for completing them. High stakes launches this week, this week in Fortnite. See you there. And, and again, here's a look at them. You have 500 damage to jewel carrying opponents. You get something completely unique. That's the spray you earn. And then pick up a jewel in five different matches of the getaway to earn the contrail. A look at it there. We saw it in the gameplay yesterday. That looked fire. You complete all the challenges. The crowbar. brand new pickaxe, the crowbar right there. I'm, I'm, I'm doing that right away. Well, when that goes live, I'm doing that right away. So you have to, don't forget to start the stream, Courage. Yeah, I know true. you're excited. The LTM will be there, okay? You just got to wait the, the two minutes, get ready, you know, get it in, into your Do my little dance game. Exactly. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> nice. <laughs> to begin to get ready for our first game with our look at our finalists, 99 of the best Fortnite players in the world competing here today. What are some big names I, on this first page, Luke? I don't even know where to begin with the list of players that are playing today. You have names like Nate Hill and the rest of the uh, of FaZe Clan. That, in fact, five out of five players from FaZe uh, qualified for these grand finals. 72 hours from Liquid, who we, we saw put on a show. You don't need materials. You don't even need HP. All you need <laughs> is a drum gun and a dream, and you can push around outside and rotate on your opponent. His, his, the, the thought processes that go through these players' minds is incredible. You got C9, Alliance, World's Best Gaming, Trouble Boys, and teams countless teams yes. envy it's it's incredible and then on page two here you see sentinels animal he was one of the two players who have had 10 plus a limb games ghost aiden was right there with him as well Saf, who's done well in the summer skirmishes prior to this continuing to put his name up there ghost bizzle a big name with that ghost gaming organization who've seen so much success this weekend heading out of the other side of the list number 59 spot liquid poach Arguably, a, um, you know, a competitive fan favorite to potentially win the event this weekend. We'll see how he performs today. And then this was from last night. And I'm just going to quickly run through. Phase Tempo, Tifu, Hysteria, Chap, Jomok. You look, C9 Blind is on this list. Flower from Rogue. It does not and what a stacked lineup we have heading into today competing for the 1.5 million. On top of that, you have players that are playing on a controller. You have players that are playing on keyboard and mouse. Yes. Nick Merckx is going to put on a show in, in Tilted Towers. We've seen it before. We'll see it again. And the best part is he's not alone. Aiden was consistently dropping Tilted in yep. his games, which means these two might end up uh, having a little face-off at the Imagine. beginning of almost every single game if they if they both trend to where they're used to where they're Five comfortable games going. left for these players even after this one is uh, has been completed so uh, a bad game or two not it, it doesn't is spell this, the is end this for Aiden? is this Aiden? Is. shot to nick marks goes down aiden says welcome to tilted and there uh-oh oh. oh aiden letting him know i gotta say it high twitter that honestly. right there folks is what it's all about Aiden knowing the reputation of Nick Merckx. Nick now seeing a, a new controller player trying to claim his tilted area. And well, I feel like that's a battle we're gonna see a lot today, Lupo. Gonna catch up to Aiden. Aiden was eliminated earlier on. We've now got five players with a point on the board. Looks like these were two players fighting earlier on, Lupo and Shifty. This, this kind of shows just how they both, both fell. Don't stick the landing on the way in. This kind of shows how, how players are. Oh, uh, no. Oh, no. You see in the feed, Jumpman eliminating Aiden. We at least know he, uh, who, hit his head who went down to. On a tree and was knocked down. Here's that move we mentioned, down into the river. What an ending to this first zone. Hysteria there. You see the shotgun elimination on the knees. 32 players still remaining. Typically at this point, we're at like 13, 14 players. It's and we're at 31. 31. This this is a, a good example Tifu of how high a, the nerves are he here. He's got a drop. 
We have uh, cheers from the crowd here for that one. He's got remote explosives and a rocket. That's huge. Against all the players that are playing incredibly slow, they're all built up in structures. Explosives are going to be, uh, I mean, that could be game changing. He could come away with a bunch of eliminations, even just to, uh, to knocking structures down with that. And he's going to start pushing up. He's going to get up top of the zone. He's, he, he owns all of this, too. You see, he's making quick edits on, on pretty much every piece he's moving through. And this is Hysteria's first elimination thus far today in game one. An opponent, surprise, falls inside and catches and Nice off guard. You know, that's when the, the double barrel is quite good, just as a pro tip, when they're inches in front <laughs> of your face. Literally right there. Yes. Here we go, folks. Our move to our next zone about to begin. Tifu has been inching across all of this build. I was wondering how he was going to do this with little materials. Somehow he's claimed this entire top area, it seems. Nate Hill still in it. Jayomok still in it. Here we go. This game is about to escalate very quickly. The moves coming from everybody now. Chris to a limbs. Can he earn his third to put a point on the board? Gorilla just cut down Jayomok. You see Nate Hill using the bounce pad. Everyone surging forward. The common enemy of everyone is this storm. And you can see they're all afraid with how much damage it does. Somehow Tifu not being shot. He's made it on in and secured a nice little structure to heal on up literally no one wants to engage anybody else right there you saw tifu drop the c4 i think the idea is if somebody's pushing up underneath him he can edit it out and drop the c4 oh! down brandon gets caught off guard and, and jack he gets a med kit. six elimination and he's a med got a med kit now he's got to use this right away the zone is 25 seconds pop that med kit get above six hp tifu won a limit a limb away from earning himself a point remember top 10 in the game earn themselves a point as well No fall damage, honestly, kind of surprisingly, out, so many explosives. He's out of materials. I think he's just, I think he's just got to kind of go for this. That's all of his mats left. One more Elim is a point for Tifu, and he's going to look for one. There's still 10 players that are uh, that have to go down before rank matters for points, which means now's the time, and he gets it, catches shrugs off guard through a little tiny window. That green drum gun coming in, and another one. Tifu going for his fourth he's elimination. Gotta he's got to move. move. The zone is there. He's got to move. He's trapped on in. Tifu choking on out. The storm ticking for so much, and there he goes. Tifu out from game one as the storm claims another victim. You got Nate Hill basically sitting on nothing, no HP, no shield in the bottom, and he had some minis. Going to patch himself up. Lemayne stuck inside, basically in the middle of the, uh, there's a player sandwich here. 11 left, one more goes down. Everybody that's left alive gets one point minimum. Whoever, whoever is a limb next, heartbreaking stuff as they will be just on the verge of a free point. I know one thing, Nate Hill has no plans of peeking on out with that little HP left. Three med gets for more Goss. You've got to think he's in a good spot if this goes to a heal off. Uh-oh, uh-oh, fight about to go down. More Goss with a shot. There it is. We're now into our top 10. A quick so trade. Trades having back and forth. The hype there, that was, that was three limbs, and he made it to the top 10. That's two points there. Land Jock, we mentioned, you can have all sorts of play styles. This one, not go for any fights. He's in sixth place with zero limbs, but he's out of mats. He's full of to go. It's time to rip back up. He pulled two other players with him. Three are on their look, way down from the top. They're right away. He's gonna, I think the goal is to try and land as fast as no, possible. No, he's gonna so rip can... again! Oh my god! No! Oh. That was almost 200 IQ! It could come back to Gets fight Gets the shot on Gorilla! Top five! Top five. Trades going down. Nate Hill with a limb. Prodigy Aces. Looks like he's got the high ground right now. Only one limb to his name. Remember, top three earned two points. He's made it. Two points now earned. So many med kits. The storm is pushing on in. This is... It, I believe it's gonna come down to a heal off right now. Player shooting from above. He doesn't have time to heal. Prodigy it's Nate Hill, and Nate. I don't think Nate has any help left. He's got one HP. He's trying to break down. He doesn't have the time. This should be it. He's got one extra tick of HP. And there's the victory for Landjock. As he can't believe it, it was 18 health to one health. Literally one tick of the zone made the difference. And the sigh of relief there. Congratulations. That's a three-point game. Absolutely ridiculous. Nate, at this at this point, his only option was to try and shoot or, or pickaxe his way down, get a shot in the, um, in the fall. And it didn't matter. Landjock had a layer ahead uh, above yeah. him. There was no option there. He was done for anyway. You saw trying to pickaxe down. He was getting that thing where it just wasn't letting him actually hit the structure, which made him have to panic shoot. He didn't have a shot there anyway. Uh, one HP didn't. 
if he gets that a limb and drops those med kits down a little bit earlier on, as the zone's closing, he might have time to pop the full 10 second med kit, but there was only like nine seconds left on the clock. So one tick would have dropped him and he knew that he had to go for it. Unfortunately, it doesn't work out.